Of course, you can't talk about the Oscars without talking about fashion. Oh, we are so excited for this. We are bringing in style expert Tiffany Colors to help break down the best and worst looks. So what were your impressions overall of the night? I mean, overall, <clears throat> I think everybody tried. And I love that about fashion is like when you're actually thinking and you're trying and you're showing up for yourself. And sometimes you show up and I'm like, okay. Mm and sometimes <laughs> you show up and I'm like, yes, you did. It. <laughs> and we were talking earlier too about the champagne carpet and how it was an actual choice so the fashion could pop on instead of like having a red accent because that's always hard to play with right when mm -hmm. you're like up against red and you're like what am I going to wear up against red mm -hmm. and they really kind of pulled that away and now you could just do whatever you wanted and you weren't going to clash. But I feel like it kind of took the sparkle out of some of the dresses because I feel like did. I saw a lot of white dresses there and I'm sure they were planning on being against that red. Mm -hmm. So to me this was giving like living room. I don't know. Usually if it's yeah. not a red carpet I feel like it's like a bright blue carpet or a purple carpet or something like that but I was I mean I get it's elegant and it's off-white but I was so surprised by this well, choice. And it's called the red carpet. Right. It is. I, people kept calling it that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're like eat champagne this year, but that's cool. <laughs> yeah, well, it's interesting. And you definitely said that uh, this was announced, so people knew, people and they knew. still made the choice to wear colors that kind of made it all seem like one blob. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't like they found out last, uh, like they have been planning these dresses for some time, and then all of a sudden they found out, uh, and they're like, oh, we can't switch to this right now, we're already in that lane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk about some of our favorite and least favorite looks. Okay. What was your pick for best look on a man? Okay, best look was Austin Butler. Mm -hmm. He's in Saint Laurent. Mm -hmm. And first of all, he's gorgeous. Right. Absolutely. And then they pulled a gorgeous designer for him and he just made that lapel. He, it's sleek, those shoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, to die for. I just think he looks amazing. I like the structure. It was a good look, too. yes. We've been talking yeah. about that. Yeah, we absolutely. Have. All right. Yeah. Anybody else you liked? I mean, okay, so my runner up was Brian Tyree Henry. Okay. And mm -hmm. you guys, I have been trying to find all over the internet what this man was wearing. I have no idea who the designer was, but that texture on the shirt, the beading, the lapel, he's got diamond jewels hanging from his belt. Ooh. Like he did it. That story tells a whole story just in a shirt and a yeah. jacket. It's so good. I loved it. I love the texture of that one too. Yeah. It's exciting yeah. to see that what men's fashion is doing. I feel like it's really branching yeah. out. Yeah, mm -hmm. showing up. All right, now let's talk about the ladies. Go what ahead. was your best look for a woman? Okay, Angela Bissett. And she was in Machino and wearing Bagari. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, those statement necklaces were all over the place and she killed her. Yeah. I like the asymmetry on this dress. I like, I'm sure you guys saw that there was like extra tufts of fabric. I Everywhere. think this was just enough of extra mm -hmm. tuft. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too tufty. It was gathered in spots. And then that mermaid trend that was going on, she just killed it. And you could see she can sit in that dress. She can walk in that dress. It's breezy. I'm sure she's not sweating. Mm -hmm. I loved Beautiful. it. And that purple. Beautiful. And mm -hmm. that purple. Did you have any other picks for best Okay, dress so for women? Kate Hudson is my runner up. Yeah. And she's wearing road art. And what I love about this dress, I don't know if you guys were following all the way through, but that piece, that ruffly piece, it comes, comes off. right off. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, yes to that. And again, she's wearing that mermaid dress trend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a train. She's got that sparkle. I think, I mean, she's gorgeous. And I just, I loved how that piece came off because I was like, mm, can it be too much? And, and then it almost was, and then it wasn't. Yeah, very old Hollywood vibes there. Yes. What about worst look on a man? Okay, so everybody, when you get dressed, you clearly love what you're wearing. So yeah. I always, I, sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm just gonna say this. But Dwayne Johnson, he showed mm -hmm. up in Dolce & Gabbana. Mm -hmm. And yes to Dolce & Gabbana, no to that bow tie. It oh, was like, like this story stops just mm -hmm. right underneath his neck. And I was like, oh, I mean, he's so handsome and you could put a paper bag on this man and you'd be like, mm, Dwayne. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I just feel like why they ended up with a black bow tie was a little confusing. See, me. it was like the silky, like salmon colored, yeah. like suit for me too. He even has a too. rosette. Yeah, you yeah. Know, like, yeah. And mm -hmm. rosettes were trending, which I love. That came back, it's like the 80s is coming back with the mm -hmm. rosettes. And I was like, why? Why the black bow tie? Why not the still salmon co like, color? You know? <laughs> yeah, something yes. more creative there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now let's talk about your least favorite look on a woman. So Florence Pugh. Pugh, yes. Pugh. Yes. And the, she's wearing Valentino. Love Valentino. This is just a, too much fabric. 
It is. And I think it's poorly placed. I think this could have been for a different awards show. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. love the shorts. Ever. She has pockets, you guys, and you know how much we <laughs> love, love a pocket. She has many pockets but in I there. Think, yeah. I think it was a. I think it was a lot, and I. I uh, for the Oscars, I think a little bit more streamlined is more right. chic, and she is just like betting all Everywhere. over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one of my least favorites as well, yeah. and it's so it's so awful to say because I love Florence. Yeah. Oh no. my gosh, yeah. and I feel Whoa. like yeah. from the neckline up, she looked amazing. Yeah. But I, you're right, and then the. The fabric, it looked like taffeta, uh, taffeta and, yeah. and it's like so crinkly. Can you imagine trying to get all of that in the like <laughs> no, in a chair and then you're how, sitting, it's like, oh, I've, sorry, let me grab my sheet from you. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. No, no, I wasn't a big fan there. And, and you know, we had our own favorites as yeah, well. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. I would say my favorite was Mindy Kaling. Mm -hmm. She, she came good. out, she surprised us. She wore this beautiful white dress and it was just structured and so different. What did you think of it? I loved it and I love that she, she has said that she is feeling her most fabulous that she's ever felt. She's right. feeling she fit. Great. She's eating well. She's exercising well. And then you just see her glowing. She's got that mermaid hair. So again, you've got that trend. And then that sleeve. That's so, it was just it fun. Was fun. She looks so confident. Yeah. What was your favorite, Maria? Well, before we move on to that, I, I want to say she liked this dress so much, she wore it twice because yeah. when she presented, she wore it in black. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, my favorite was Sandra O. Oh. I mean, obviously she's played a bigger role in the Oscars in years past, but this dress took my breath away. I want to like have this at mm. a store and for me to find it, buy a little version of this that I could wear to work because it's so beautiful to me. I love the color. It really mm. works with that carpet color. Yeah, too, it really you know? did. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Something popped. <laughs> Tiffany Collars, thank you so much for coming thank in you. and chatting fashion with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right.